to do this, okay, to do this uh, training, uh, it is good if you have a platform like this, concrete platform like this, uh, flat, about uh, the height of your uh, groin. Well, of course, without this, it just so happens I have this. Uh, it is uh, okay. You don't need this, but uh, supposing this is uh, clear, flat, concrete. This is the old, uh, uh, the traditional tool we use for iron pump training. I just call it hand conditioning. There's no need to uh, hype it. Okay, you place this on top. I just show you the basic motions. And then you assume the horse stance. Horse stance. It's about two shoulders, two shoulder width apart. Okay? And slowly you do that. Your hand should be flat. Should hit flat the surface. But the focus mental focus your target is two inches below the surface so you're actually trying to hit the concrete but this bug is just stopping you short we will only emphasize the slapping movement okay this is one repetition you raise your hand to eye level and then without force just enough to uh, let your hand your arm go down without Using force, using strength. One. Two. Okay, that's one. Flat on the surface, flat on the surface. All fingers and the palms or the back hand hit simultaneously. Okay, again. One. One. Movement down, slapping down is with the, with the palm and then slapping with the back hand, that's one repetition. Initially, you can do uh, 12, 10 or 12 with one hand. Some people do it so many times in a day. Okay, that is for the right hand. This is for the left hand. The same thing you do, raise it at eye level. You can do like this. One, two. One, two. You can be lazy. You can, uh, you can, uh, uh, one moment. You get a chair. This is lazy kung fu. I do like this. I do like this. That is for the bomb. And then you can do. The cutting hand. It's like the karate chop. No force whatsoever. Nothing necessary. No, not, no uh, extra effort necessary. Just let your arms drop. You don't have to do like this karate. Relax. Yes. Like that. It's better if you keep your fingers together. Less harm to the bones. You get the sides that are soft or hard. That is one. The other is for the fingers. Some do this. It's a push-up position if you don't push up. But this is for finger flexion. No? Going here like that. What you train best first is the finger extension. Relax. So if you hit something, you don't hit it and break your fingers. You hit it, and if it's too hard, you just bend naturally. So you target like that. If it's hard. Okay? If you have this, you do this. If you don't have this, because sometimes it's expensive, you know, the delivery, you have to do this for grabbing. Grabbing, grabbing exercise. If you don't have this, I have a suggestion, you get old telephone books or directories. You can have two. Uh, it should be at least a, an inch thick. So I have two. So what you do is you crumble all the pages. All of it, all of it, and then you smoothen it back. The purpose here is to allow some air to be in between the pages so that 
you won't hurt your bones if you're a beginner. Okay? So you have it on the platform. Oh, sorry. You shouldn't have this, huh? Same thing. I will only uh, teach the slapping movements initially, and then eventually we'll go through the other techniques. Okay? You do that, 12 repetitions with the right, 12 repetitions with the left, and then that is one set, 12 repetitions, one set for the hand, one set for the left, 12 repetitions. You can do in the morning, in the afternoon. And then, after every session, or daily session, you take one page, all the way. The next day, you do the same thing. Then after the session, take away a page. Okay, we have an intruder, my granddaughter. Okay, and until you reach at least half of it. Reach half of it, you can go all the way down until you have a few pages and then get another one, another new book. Or you can try hitting concrete. But I don't recommend that for beginners. You can also do this for fingers. Fingers, like that. It's good for uh, finger flicks to the eyes. And uh, don't hit your children. They will have finger marks. Okay, that's all for today. Okay, tapos na.